Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel e-commerce project tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about delete a brand. So let's see how can we delete the brand. First of all, go to the admin controller, so switch to the project and just go inside the app directory, then HTTP controller and let's open admin controller. And inside this admin controller, uh, let's create a new function. So after this, just add here public function and function name uh, let's say function name is brand underscore delete okay and inside this is pass one parameter which is id and now let's fetch the brand according to this id okay so right here model brand and then call the find method and just pass in the ID okay and after this uh, let's, uh, let's add here the if condition if inside the brands folder if brand image is available then just delete the uh, image okay before the before deleting the brand so for deleting this uh, brand image just call here the delete method file colon colon delete and inside this just pass here this part okay now add in semicolon and after deletion the brand image just uh, call here the delete method okay and now return uh, redirect route and just redirect uh, to the admin dot brands route okay with a message with the status and add here the message brand has been deleted successfully Okay, now let's copy this function name and uh, let's create the route for this function. So go to the web.php, routes web.php and inside the admin uh, group, route group, just add here, route. Okay, and uh, method name, delete. Okay, and URL, just add here, admin, grant and uh, pass here the id and then delete okay and uh, method name which is brand delete and now assign the name which is admin dot brand dot delete okay now let's copy this route name save this file and now go to the brands.get.php view file so just go inside the resources directory and then views admin and from here let's open this one brand.blade.php file and here inside the for each you can see here this is the edit link and now uh, here is the delete link okay so inside this form uh, let's add here inside the action double curly bracket route and add here the route name admin brand delete okay and also pass here the parameter which is id so right here id then arrow dollar brand arrow id okay and inside this function just add here the csrf directive and also add here the method directive and pass here the method delete all right and one more thing 
uh, before deleting the record uh, let's show here the confirmation so after this instruction just add here the post directive and then the scripts scripts inside this post directive and now here let's add the script tag close the script tag Now JavaScript jQuery uh, document dot ready method. So write this. Okay, simply write here this one function and okay, this is our hand. And now uh, let's find the click event on this button. Okay, so here is the class delete class. So let's bind with this uh, this div uh, click event. So dollar dot and class name is delete. And bind here the click method so right here on click event and the callback function and here our first pass is the argument e and then let's write here the e dot event default okay and then where Let's find the closest form so right here this one and now uh, let's hear the sweet alert message so for that just right here it's wal and uh, inside the curly bracket just pass here the option title uh, are you sure and then text Alright, this one was deleted. You will need, you will not be able to recover the data. And uh, then uh, set here the type. And let's say I have the icon. Type <coughs> type is equal to uh, type colon warning. and button first button is no and other button which is yes So set the confirmation button color so right here confirm button color as dc3545 and then add a callback function Pass the parameter result okay if result then I'll just submit the form so write your form dot submit okay that is true now let's change here the text you want to delete this record this one. Okay, now save this file. Title, text, type, or buttons, confirm button color. Okay, and this is the call away function.
Okay, now save this and now it's done. So let's check. So switch to the browser and just refresh the page. Okay, inside the form there is an error. Okay, all right. So here inside the delete form just add this this one inside the square bracket okay not outside the square bracket inside this the square bracket now save this and now refresh the page okay and now just click on delete and you can see here the confirmation if i click on no record is save and once again delete and this time just click on yes and you can see here record has been deleted okay so in this way you can delete the brand so that's all about deleting the brand so thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching